we need to come back to diversity. We need to become free of these poisons that are driving extinction, driving disease. It's been established that glyphosate is a carcinogen. That's why there are thousands of cases in America of people who got cancer because of spraying glyphosate. Bayer, which bought Monsanto, has lost more money paying for these cases than what is spent by Monsanto, who had the monopoly on glyphosate. So now, glyphosate is a European problem. Roundup is a European problem. And this is creating a huge confusion in European policy. On the one hand, Europe says, we will restore nature. We will go for organic farming. We will go farm to fork. And on the other hand, they want to spread more Roundup. On the other hand, they want to spray more pesticides. Now, through digital agriculture, through drones, digitally managed, even a digitally managed drone is a spray which destroys nature's diversity, which destroys our health. The health of the planet, our health, is one health. We can connect that health through systems that give health, or we can connect through poisons that create disease and extinction. It is a time now for Europe to find her soul. It is time for Europe to learn, look around the world from the best examples of how poison-free farming is producing more food, better food, and allowing biodiversity to thrive. It is time for Europe to stop being schizophrenic, pushing the poisons that drive species to extinction on the one hand, and then talking about biodiversity conservation on the other. Over decades, we have practiced poison-free farming. Over decades, we have seen we increase food production. Over decades, we have seen there are other ways. The poison cartel should not be the shaper of our food and agriculture policy. Citizens, recognizing they are part of the earth, should participate in writing the future of food and farming. We need to reclaim our food freedom.